Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to part 12 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Germania. So where we left off the last video is I just defended this town from the Julii uh, attack that they had on it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be going for the KO here of Britain. So let's, uh, let's see if I can get that. We'll load up army and a spy. And we'll go drop them off. Yeah, they, they can make it. That's good. Okay. I was a little bit afraid that they wouldn't be able to, uh, to make it all the way to the city. But this city has basically no one. Let's go ahead and just uh, assault that, I guess. And, yeah, well, why not? We'll blockade the port. This might... Ooh! So, they, actually, those troops are, gonna be, are not going to be a factor. If I can bump... Let's see if I can bump them away. Oh, I did win it! Did I just sink the ships, too? Wow, so I just bumped those, so those forces can't come in and reinforce the city. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're done. They, they're done. Um, let's retrain these guys up here. And, yeah, because this, this, tr this city trained some pretty good guys, let's, let's get another unit of the hoplites going. And... I don't think there's anything I can build in either of these. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um, Alright, let's just do buildings here to start this turn off. Uh, blacksmith. Um, oh yeah, this town expanded recently. Def I always like doing a port when a, when a town that's a not border town, you know, starts first expands. Just... Definitely just good to have. Alessia. Um, first of all, keep recruiting this Gothic cavalry. And yeah, let's, let's give him archer, archery. That's like a main recruitment city for me now. Uh, market. I want the population growth bonus there. Uh, we'll give it the walls and retrain these guys up. All right, back to London. All right, so that's it for uh, for buildings. So I'm a little bit wary to just like you know rush forces south here, uh, just because there are some sizable. I know Julia has a decent sized army here, and Gaul has a decent sized army there. Um, but let's go ahead and do go for the first target, which is going to be Lu uh, Lu Luvavum. Yeah, Lou Vaughn, right there. And, yeah, we want to move these guys as just a garrison force. Um, yeah, okay, I guess we should take out, take out this force really quick. Well, it's right there. It's going to keep us from the city for another turn, but uh, it's worth, you know, taking out the force that's basically right next to me. So, let's just get, get going with them. Yeah, you know, let's just. No, we don't need. We don't need the line that wide. Let's get like a three deep line with another line behind them, and where's my cap? And we'll get the the cavalry just on either side. That's fine. Alright, we'll just let him get up into position here. Like, Dacia's not really a threat, but I just, I'm a little bit afraid of their alliance. I, I don't want to have a full on war on this border yet. Um, yeah, we'll have him just march forward here. Look at that spacing. Perfect spacing. Spears. And all right, I guess yeah. I'll just have them march right into the uh, enemy line here.
Oh, I forgot this, the one behind them would, would come up also. Whoops. Um, but yeah, we'll just have them attack in here. Shouldn't be too long of a fight. And who do we want to get the experience? Let's put my general over here for mop-up reasons. And yeah, we'll put the full unit of cavalry over there with them also. So while the phalanxes here go into the next unit of warband. Yeah, honestly, let's just we'll tell one of them to halt. And the other one can go. Gonna fight. This is an ugly line. Yeah, they reformed the line pretty well, though. There we go. The only gap is really down at the end here. Alright. There we go. Easy. Easy and straightforward. Lost two guys, both in one unit of infantry. And I think that, that unit of infantry actually gained some experience, which is nice. Like, I could go for the city here. I mean... This city is just more strategically a lot more valuable for me. But, I mean, this one's not bad. Nah, we're gonna go. We're gonna stick with my, uh, with my plan here. Skype. The old the gall diplomat actually blocking the whole path. Oh no, I, I can get around them. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's all for Dacia for this turn. Um, I mean, this force here is really nice. Great general. Uh, a good army. Hmm. Should I start marching him? In this way? Uh, probably. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So we're going to start forming up this army. Taking definitely the, the really good cavalry. And... I mean, I could just take such a sick... It's going to be a really cavalry-heavy force. How many troops do I need here to keep the city happy? It's almost at 6,000, which is really nice. It'll be, it's about to be 6,000. And, uh... The unrest, you know, should be dropping soon. Um... Yeah, I might wait. I'll wait a turn. I might get rid of that. I have... I just... I realize I have such a cavalry-heavy... Like, forces down here are very cavalry-heavy. <laughs> um... Take. I guess. I mean, I need I need infantry. Yeah, I thought that would happen. Shoot. Okay. I mean, that should be okay for the moment. Um. I just have yeah, so much cavalry in this force. Same with the one over here. See, this general's really good too. I I, I want to move him east, but if I do decide to end up you know going to war with Spain and stuff here, then it would be nice to kind of have him down here. Although, I really don't intend on doing that anytime soon. I'd like to focus in on Italy. Um, yeah, let's start advancing with this force. I, I Not much infantry, but uh, I do feel... Fairly calm. This force coming down here, also not much infantry. Okay. I've definitely uh, not been training as much infantry as I uh, as I should have been recently. That's for sure. Yeah, we'll get the Gothic cavalry, and I mean, the good thing is I will get a ton of infantry from up here. Uh, when I move out, so that's nice. 
And is this the same turn? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it's a it's a good place for the turn to end. Let's see what happens here. Uh, oh, Jesus. So the jewel I really want... Oh, wait, one sec. Uh, superior commander, good at... Oh, wow. Oh, nice. That's a nice general. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Is this the new guy? That's the new guy. What, what city is this? Ficus? Where are we? Way up here. Okay. Cool. Let's get this guy moving down that way. Um, construction, got some things done. Recruitment. Let's see what's going on Diplo. Ceasefire, war. So all, all the Romans are out there to war with the Greeks. Seriously, this, this one Gallic diplomat is really going to just sit there and, and block. I mean, it's it's good strategy by Gaul. I'm not going to lie, but like, my God, that's annoying. That's just so frustrating. I wish there's, like, there's, no, there's really no way I can get past this guy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, this force is like nothing. Oh man, I hate, 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 hate forest fights. Like you can't see through these trees. Where the hell are they? Yeah, and it breaks up my phalanxes. I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think this is, let's just move out to this clearing right here. Alright, should just take him a second to get over. Oh, I hate when the computer, like, sets up back in a corner. I mean, it's it's like, you know you're going to lose the fight. That's why they're doing it. You try to... Is that just peasants? What, what's the other unit? Warland. Okay. Do they really move further back? My god, these guys are annoying. Gonna have my guys march in here. Don't expect this to be much of a fight, but the uh, the trees tend to break up the phalanxes. But yeah, it's it's not it's not gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a stomping. Here we go. Guys, mop them up here through the forest. Got them. Okay. Only lost one guy. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, imagine be like the one guy that di dies in a battle. That's so sad. All right, right new expands plus one command when attacking. Nice. Oh. Oh, I just can't get there. That's too bad. Alright, let's take out Britain, guys. Let's do it. Boom. Come on. This is Britain's last city. 
We're going to take him down. Oh. All right. Let's do it. So, is it just the uh, general? No, it's the general and is that warband? Warband. Of course, it's warband. It's always warband. I don't even know why I ask anymore. All right. I think I probably should just do this one with uh with just my infantry. I fight this battle with just my infantry, but uh. I guess Warband and Chariots are, are both pretty tough against uh, Cavalry, but we'll see how it turns out. The battering ram is at the gate. Our warriors attack. Now is the time for great deeds. Your warriors have broken the gate. The way is open. Let okay. And kill all the cowards inside. All right, let's go and... Uh, Sprint in and set up a, a shield wall here. Our warriors have driven the enemy from his own walls. The way to victory is over. Any second now, they'll all be through. All right, perfect. We'll put the spears down, and now let's move up to the the front right there. Yeah, they're actually advancing pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. It's nice. You guys can start just moving in. Like in last battles, I'm gonna try to, you know, if I can. Wow, these chariots. There are a lot of chariots. Wow. See if I can get the chariots to basically just charge right into my spears. So yeah, I'm gonna set up one. There's a spearman there, and then I'm going to turn the line this way to guard against the flank. Let's see how this works. So far, no, uh, no rushed assault from the enemy chariots. So we're going to... I'm gonna keep moving forward, and I'm gonna use these two fort units here to, uh, yeah, to guard the whole flank. Yeah, these guys should have pretty much the entire flank guarded here, in case they just be, all these guys come around this direction. Yeah, I want them like that. Come on, put your spears down. Put the spears down. Put the spears down. Put your spears down. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god. This is so... Come on, guys. There we go. Oh. So frustrating when that happens. Well, I actually didn't lose a single guy, though. Yeah, we'll just let the let this kind of... Let this happen here. There goes the general. Only three left. Two left. Oh, or three left still. So. Now two left. Alright. Now we move into towards the center. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, these guys really don't like putting their spears down when they're charging, them, when enemies are charging. That's for sure. But let's just uh, let's just let this finish here. Are you serious? Just 
march towards. All right, or do that. I don't really know what they're doing there. Everyone go in. And at this point, there are only a few left. Might as well just charge in, everybody. There we go. Alright, nice, nice, nice. So that's it for Britannia. I mean, all this time of, you know, kind of cat and mouse in Britain. And, uh, finally able to take them out. There we go. Faction destroyed. Goodbye, Britannia. Thank you for playing. Plus one command, plus one morale. Plus two command. Oh, that guy actually gained a lot right there. Nice. Okay. So. Oh, this city's already over 2,000 population. Now that... That is very nice. Not anymore, but... <laughs> they already built the building, so it's fine. Um, obviously going to be an economic city way in the back of my empire. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to need to move these troops down south soon. Um... Yeah, so we'll just get that force ready. I'm a little bit worried because I think there's a rebel navy in the area. That's why I'm retraining this fleet first. Um, so we're going to wait one turn for that. These two cities, yeah, I'm fine with those, those troops staying there. And then, um, Chosen Archer Warband. Yes. Okay. These guys are going to change this campaign for me. I basically had no ranged units this entire campaign until now. Um, so we're going to It'll probably take me three turns or so to get out of Britain. So we'll go ahead and train those guys up during those turns. And then uh, otherwise, let's do, uh, let's do a Warlord Stables there. I might just use this as a troop-producing town and have like a constant line of troops moving south from London. Um, Alright, obvious thing I need to focus on though is this force... I don't know why the Julia decided to start targeting this town, I mean, out of all towns, like, so heavily, but that's what they're doing. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go assist them. Yeah, we're gonna have to get over there. Okay. And I'll probably pick up some mercenaries before I, uh, I get there as well. Uh, see, I wanna, I wanna train troops here so bad, but I think this is just one turn from expanding. So I'm gonna let it expand and then you know start training troops up. Um, yeah, we got this guy going to that force. This guy going to that force. Yeah, I don't want to overexpand. I might build a just build a watchtower like right here, and then uh, or I can build a fort and hold those troops there to uh, to use later. Yeah, that's what I'll probably do next turn. Okay. Um, let's do buildings really quick. Alright, Dame, capital city. Uh, let's, let's give you archery range as well. Lovis, Lo Love Ice, ah, whatever. Okay. Condate Redonum, I mean, pretty behind the lines. Up the population growth rate. And I think, yeah, that's it. Right? That was all the cities? Yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah, this one I'm not going to be able to defend. That's for sure. Uh, where's my spy? Let's, I need a new spy actually. Can any of these cities turn up a spy? How about not? I should have done this already. No. Unless he has already training guys. So why can't one of these places train up a spy? I need to build I need to build those uh, buildings. Um, alright, we're gonna take our spy out of here. Get him going back this direction. Okay. Um 
Yeah, see, these two cities, I really want them to get to 6,000. That's why I'm not training troops there, even though I could really use the infantry. That's for sure. Um, yeah, okay, let's get let's get one unit of infantry going here. We'll use them to move south. Uh, I didn't actually, I just want to see, does that guy work as a spy at all? No, not really. What? <sighs> Why do they? Why do they like want war so bad? I mean, I don't really want peace. I just kind of want them to stop attacking me. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to lose the city. I probably will though. Um, okay. And these, yeah. So this turn, I, I've pretty much done all the regions. Um, okay. What does Thrace want? No, nothing. Nothing first. Okay. So. Sisyphus is person bearing Alba Varkar. Where where are you, Sisyphus? Up here is it one of the ones with the the generals that passed away that died? No, wait, who? Oh, a candidate for adoption. Oh, this is cool. Not often you get a. Get one of these. Candidate for adoption benefactor is Sesethicus. Okay. He is 29. He is a good defender. So he gets another. He's sharp. Plus one of each and a conflict. Of, so he gets plus two when defending. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll, of course I'll take him. Um, he's in uh, Vicus <laughs> Marco Mani. That's a complicated name, and then this guy. Seriously? It's, see, this is Thrace's... I knew this would happen. When I saw the alliance between Thrace and Daisha, I was like, Thrace is going to attack my eastern border. I knew it. Um, shoot. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright then, Thrace. See, I'm wary to move the general into the city. Um, oh, I totally forgot about this guy. Yeah, I need him. Can he cross here? No, he can't cross there. Shoot, this is going to be so long to walk him back around. Um, I'm thinking the best way for this guy to go. Let's see, let's see if Greece has any of the cities over here. Maybe I can uh, get something going with Greece. Thrace, Thrace, Thrace. Okay. So Thrace, I need a... Let's get some men going. So I'm going to start stacking up this border over here. I could move him. I think. See, I'm thinking pick up some mercs and then move them in the city. It's expensive, but we're going to do it. I think I have a much better uh, defense now. Oh, wow. Carthage is out. Jeez, factions are just dropping like flies. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I am losing money. Thank you. Massilia finally grew. Okay. Now I can start training up some... Uh, some more men here. Ugh. Oh, let's see. Okay, a lot of Hastati. Some archers, a lot of dogs. I don't know how they have over 20 men. It's going to be a massive fight. Uh, I feel like i got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Okay, first things first, before I do that, though, because that's going to be such a big battle, we're going to get... Oh, wait, what's the population here? Oh, it's already 2,000. Right, I need to leave uh, two units of infantry here to get the max public order still. Uh, definitely move the spy out. Honestly, yeah, let's just move it all out. 
And then I don't want to risk um, Hopefully, I don't this fleet doesn't get attacked. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get this, keep those archers going. Okay, new family member. Construction port finished here. Um, nice. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, you know, behind the front lines. Uh, get market. Uh, stockade here, only one thing to build. Alright, Warlords, help. shoot, I'm out of money. Shoot, alright, we're not going to build that there. Because I would rather build something, um, Massilia's building that already, right, I did that. I would rather build something here, like the ports. Okay. What's up with Diplo? A lot of wars, ceasefire. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Um, shit, I am so low on money. I am so low on money. My projected treasury total is 7,000. Shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Again, just move these guys south. All right. So I have two options. I can either attack them and break the siege or join the siege fight. So when this army sieges the city, I'll join. And I'm going to try to play that. I would love, I would rather be defensive um, than on the offensive for this fight. And actually, I think the best place probably for the spy is going to be there. That way I can I can take a look. I can see if they're loading up any troops here to send towards me. Okay. Okay. Tricky turn. Very tricky turn, that's for sure. Um... All right, my guy's right on the border. You can build a watchtower here. It's a great place for a watchtower to have it in that pass. Yeah, this is like my one blind spot here. Do I have a general anywhere I can just kind of send in there? I guess I have this guy. So, all right, let's end the turn there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fight battle on map. Let's do it. Huge city defense again against the Julii. And let's see how they set up. So snowy field. This kind of this helps me with the archers. All right, it's a sizable force. Very sizable force. All right, I'm gonna set up my base troops here again, the same way I did last time. Shoot, I only have three, and they have four battery rooms. I'm gonna have to rush some guys in. All right, definitely the one there. The walls we know they're going for. Definitely the one there. Let's back him up just slightly. And definitely the one on the right side. Alright, let's let my reinforce once my reinforcements get in the field, we are gonna rush them in. A lot of cavalry and three more units of infantry. All right, the three units of infantry are in. Spears up. I need these guys rushing in the city as fast as possible. All 
Like I need them getting there quickly. Because they're they're they are gonna be key for the defense. Having these guys against the walls at the walls where the battery rams come through versus not the versus the battery rams getting there first is gonna be a huge difference. Um God, that's a, this is a lot of cavalry. I was hoping some of the other infantry units in this force would be the ones that come in first, but you know I can only hold 20 guys. You can see there's a unit of infantry hanging at the border. Actually, I think it's only that one. That's not too bad. But yeah, we're just rushing these guys into the city. So this is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to use my troops on the defensive versus um, in an attacking role. So yeah, we have this wall defended. And looks like they're going over here with the... So we have the three walls here defended for these battering rams. Okay. Yeah, here... Like, I have tons of cavalry coming into the city, though. And a lot of very high-quality cavalry, too. Upgraded... Uh, Gothic cavalry, or noble cavalry, which is nice. So there you go. Look at the look at the stream of troops just pouring in. That is going to be huge for the defense. Look at that. All right. So the archers are firing in on the on the uh, city now. Which obviously I expected, but uh, and now it's just happening. So I just thing all these. Oh yes, we broke down the ram. Great. So now these three guys are covering the only uh, openings themselves. Now, oh, that's that was bad timing. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna start throwing. The, see all these velites, archers, everything's throwing their spears in. This cavalry is still all pouring into the city. It's a little bit of a log jam here at the gate. Oh, this, these guys are actually, these archers and velites are, are doing some significant damage to these. Okay. Yeah, these guys are, are kind of getting knocked. Oh, the archers are really doing some damage. Alright, here they come. What is happening there? Um, but I need these spearmen to get to the front and pronto. I don't care how tired they are. They are actually really tired, unfortunately. Um, let's get three over here. Yeah, these guys are holding well. The middle got popped through. A little bit, and yeah, this side's just getting swarmed here. Okay. Alright, the right side held. Let's go, rights. Oh, the center's holding. Let's go. Yeah, these troops are all still, still running in. Okay. Alright, we're going to have these guys pick up their spears, and I want them to set up a uh, spear wall about here. The dogs are still coming up the center, but, uh, wow, that, I'm surprised. The only, the only, they did break through over here. All right, where's my shock? Shock troops, let's go. Let's get all, I'm just getting all my cavalry charging on these guys now.
Oops. And then the other two to have the side. So yeah, these this cavalry should clean up the uh, the troops that just put that all poured in here. Yeah, that's why it's good having the, the shock troop set up here because these guys had to fight so much to just break through here, and now I'm just pouring on them with my head with my uh, tons and tons of cavalry. Yeah, look at this. It's just swarmed. With, these guys are just swarmed with cavalry. All right. So we're going to opt to all the cavalry here. To back up again. And we'll have the Spear War Band stop. And these guys can stop here. They're they're exhausted. Yeah, they're not going to be too, too uh, useful in a, in a fight. So much, so much cavalry. Oh, these guys weren't quite in position yet. Who do they have left out here? Oh, I might just rush their general. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. My, let's get all my cavalry outside the city here. And, uh, yeah, these guys can take that general. And these guys can take this general. Let's try to take out the generals. Just swarm them. Please catch the general. I really want. To, I really want to take out these generals. Such a prime opportunity to. Come on, get them. Come on, get them. Oh, come on, guys. How are you letting him run out of there? Oh, come on. Yeah, they're not going to catch this one, unfortunately. How's the other guy? Oh, we have to be able to catch this guy. Come on. There we go. I should have him here. Yes. All right, I got one. I got one. That's, I'll take that, I'll take that. Oh, I can't believe I held on to the city. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe I was able to hold on to the city. Alright, we'll let my general, I really want this general to get his gold chevron. I can't even remember the last time I had a, a gold chevron troop. Especially a, on a general. Oh, man. All right. So, so nice to be able to defend the city with these uh, phalanxes. Uh, too bad we couldn't get that second general, but we were able to knock out one of the two, um, which is, you know, pretty pretty significant anytime you can take out a, fam a family member. And let's see if what the race wants. Nothing again. Okay. So let's check out, just real quick here, this Thrace army in the east. Yeah, they're they're gonna they're still standing there. Oh, hello, rebels. Um, yeah, they're they're kind of just camping out out there. But I like I like how I was able to hold this city from uh, multiple Roman um, Roman attacks. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Um, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you did.
And this campaign's heating up. I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.